two biggest ones of the day. And if anybody at the boat ramp asked, we didn't have a single bite all day. <laughs> it's terrible. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Out here at back at the lake, still catching these pre-spawn fish. The spawn has officially has not officially happened yet, but these fish are moving up into special locations I will not name. And uh, they're fattening up and they're pretty aggressive. By the time this video comes out, I shoot these videos in enough time to where I can fish the spots a good bit until the video comes out. So because it, I'll, uh, I'll post videos and like three days later there'll be somebody in my spot. So, But if you're seeing this, I've already fished the mess out of those spots. <laughs> Just FYI. Today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. Use code GEORGIA10 to save $10 off your first order. Anything over $25 will get $10 off on code GEORGIA10. So I have a Alabama rig. I have a fire crawl. And uh, yeah, I went and bought another Alabama rig because last time I broke it off. So I got five five inch Guggen Saucy Swimmers on it. Hopefully we can do some good. Without any further ado, we're gonna get you guys on the GoPro and get over here to the first spot. See you guys there. All right, got the old five rig alabama rig and now i got brand new line dad got me so hopefully we don't have no snap offs and uh let's set this bad boy to three he may throw alabama rig but not too many people throw one with the five inch swim baits on it so We'll see what the fish want. I know I've caught up, I've gone, come up in here with top water stuff and really thrown up in, up in those bushes and I've, I've done good right time of year. Oh my gosh, it's more than a nice one. I need a net right now. Crap, crap. Coming up. I told you it was more than a nice one. I don't know if I've ever seen a bass so yellow. Before we, uh, hey, we might want to hit this a little better than what we're hitting it then. He was up there, man. He's about a six pounder. All right, first one of the day, basically a six pounder, and this thing is absolutely like neon yellow looking. I've never caught such a yellow bass myself, but we're gonna put it in the live well and uh, super shallow pre-spawner, definitely moving up feeding. All right, let's get another one. Got one. Hit it about on impact. <laughs> boat flip. I'm king of the boat flip when I need to be. Probably about a solid three. He's got a little bit of yellowish tint too. Yeah, he does. Must be this uh, pre-spawn moving up shallow color or something. Yeah. No fan marks though. Yep. His mouth ain't too red, so he ain't been feeding on crawfish or nothing. So. I was wondering if I had grass, because it was basically as soon as I landed, you know, my blade never started thumping. But he pretty, pretty much, I landed on top of him. All right, so that is two bass. 
for super shallow water. Don't know if we found a pattern yet. All I know is we've got two and two foot and less and zero anywhere else. <laughs> It's big, it's big, it's big. Oh my gosh. I knew it was big when it hit. Oh my goodness. It's coming up. I got him hooked in the back, not even in the mouth. I got it. <laughs> oh, look at it. Hook fell out. That's what I'm talking about. I got a bite. I know it did. Example of it. That's why I love Alabama rig. Because sometimes if they miss it, you still end up catching them. Absolute tank. I know I felt that hard plump. Yeah. Sucker. Best one of the year so far, Alabama rig. Yeah, a seven pounder. Awesome fish. I've missed like three bass on the Alabama rig today, so finally landed one. Yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, we need to uh, keep on fishing right here. And that is why I love Alabama rig this time of year. Cause if you get a hit. It was almost seven. It was six and three quarter. All right. <laughs> and that is why you should throw an Alabama rig. So far, my record is three six pounders in one day. I haven't got that one beat yet. Maybe today's the day. So the funny thing about that was those guys in that other boat just, just came fish through here but it looked like they were kind of using a little bit smaller bait. Well, like I said, most people don't throw an Alabama rig and when they do, they don't put five inch swim baits on it because it's so big. So usually you get one to bite that five inch Alabama rig swim bait, they're good size. So I'm gonna give the Alabama rig a few more tries on through here and it's probably gonna get too shallow. I'm gonna switch back over to the Chatterbait fire crawl finish the day up so let's get you guys back on the GoPro oh right here he come up from the deep I can get the lockers on it or something he come up from the deep and grabbed it <laughs> oh, Alabama rig starting to come in clutch. I know. Another uh, three and a half pushing four. He's got a big old fat belly in him. Let's see what his official weight is. Hey, he come out from way below it. That, my friends, is a 4.08. That's a four pounder. I've got a three, a four, a six, and almost a seven in there. That's a good bag. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> hey, it's a fish. Oh, I missed it. He was ripping drag though, man. 
Two biggest ones of the day. Right at a six and almost a seven. So. She was ready to go back. Way they go. Yep, and uh, we also got a, a four over here. I love how those tiger baths are. Uh -huh. You can definitely tell which ones are tiger baths. Have to come back to this cove. Yeah. Nothing but threes and fours in here. Yeah, we did. We had a good day. Ooh. All right. And if anybody at the boat ramp asked. We didn't have a single bite all day. <laughs> it's terrible. The only thing catching them on is pink bubblegum finesse worms. That's all they're biting. So we'll see you guys back at the truck here in a second. All right, everybody. That is a wrap. End of today's video. I sure do appreciate if you stuck till the end. Uh, caught some big bass. Got some more big bass coming. Already know the water's heating up. It's going to get even better. Got some big plans, some big collaborations coming up. So road to 20,000 subscribers here we come hopefully i can get there soon at the time of this video i'm not there so i don't know but until the next time guys we'll catch you guys on the next episode peace